Hello, welcome to Spirit Cocktails. I'm your host, Pierre Ray. Today we're making the Black Sails Quartermaster Hal Gates Cocktail. It's a long title. But, as I mentioned before, this is a whole week of Black Sails Cocktails. Each one based off a pivotal character in the series. So you gotta have the Quartermaster. It's the one person in the series that kept the captain in check. Kept his sanity up and everything. Because without him, basically, the whole crew would be dead. If not, they would die because they just go off into some skirmish and just be blown to smithereens like they almost did later in the series. But one thing about this character is since he does keep him in check, the premise of this cocktail is going to have a bit of potency, the anger that Captain Flint had. So that's going to be the 151 in there and then the spice rum. But the rest of this is going to balance it out. It's going to keep him calmer. It's not really going to be as potent, but you're going to feel that. That's an ounce of 151. It's going to burn. So, even though he is keeping his anger in check, and keeping, keeping sane, it's going to show through. There's nothing you can do, because he does eventually die. So, it bounces out, but it comes out. It's going to be a potent cocktail, but definitely it's going to be a good cocktail. I'll show you how this is made. First thing you want to do is you want to take an ounce of your 151. Man, this is going to hurt too. One ounce. Yeah, but Captain Flint, is that dangerous? You also take an ounce of your spice rum. As I mentioned yesterday, seven tiki rum. I'm gonna do a review down the road. This is definitely a spice rum worth getting. It's a lot of good flavor. It's perfect in your like straver ice and a rum and coke. It's just one of the best spice rums I had out there. I'm not kidding. You'll find out later once I actually do the review. But definitely, if you can, try it out. You'll love it. You want to take gorgeous syrup? That's gonna be a half ounce. I'm going to take three ounces of your orange juice. Then just a dash of Angostura bitters. Give it a good shake. And there you have it. The Quartermaster Hal Gates Cocktail. A little bit of flint in it, so it's definitely going to be some potency. Let's see exactly how this tastes. Wow. That cre like creeps up on you again. The first sip, you're like, man, it's smooth. You don't really taste the alcohol as much. Definitely get a lot of that Orjeet syrup in there. And then all of a sudden, just out of nowhere, you get the hit of alcohol from the 151. It just hits you that strong. But it's actually really flavorful. Definitely has some good, good notes to it. See, smooth and the alcohol. Man, that does creep up. And it's going to creep up in more ways than one because this can definitely make you drunk. It's only two ounces of alcohol. The whole cocktail, two ounces. But it has 151 is the primary alcohol in there, and then you have your 
spice rum to help kind of balance out the flavor, but also adds a little more alcohol because this particular one is, it's only 35%. Most spice rums are looking between 40, 35, because you add stuff to it, it's going to be a little lower. It's a little more syrupier than some of the spice rums out there, like your Captain Morgan spice rum. So it's a little bit different, but it definitely has some good flavor to it. You can use Captain Morgan because it kind of will add to the idea because he's hiding, he's keeping the anger of the captain in check. So why not? But I had seven tiki rum. It's really good. It adds so much flavor to this cocktail. I really love this thing. But I guarantee you this will make you drunk. No question about that. But you could definitely get the rum notes. Get that. Get that little bit of cinnamon in there and the vanilla. One thing about RG, it's an almond syrup, so you're definitely getting that that sweet almond flavor, which kind of has a bit of a cherry notes to it. So you're getting that in there. You're getting a lot of citrus. It's a really flavorful cocktail. I definitely suggest you try this out if you can. I guarantee you'll love this one. And just make this a little bit better. Take a garnish. Take a orange spiral or twist, however you want to do it. Add that to it. Add a little bit to the presentation. It's always a good idea. So it's a definitely a good cocktail. I definitely suggest you try this out. You'll love it. And be sure to check out yesterday's episode. Check out the next few episodes. All week, Black Sales Cocktails. If you have a chance to watch the new season, season two, let me know. Uh, don't spoil it yet because I haven't watched it yet. It's recording. I'll watch it later. But let me know what you guys think. And always like us on Facebook and contact slash your cocktails. Subscribe to our channel. Submit your recipes. I have plenty of different cocktail designs I'm making. Problem is, after 600 some of my cocktails, I need some more ideas. And there's your idea, your ideas. So definitely submit away. Don't have to be pop culture, as I mentioned. It could be whatever you want it to be. There's a link below. You'll see at the end of the video where you can email it to me. Just send me cocktails. And I guarantee if it's stuff I have to make, I'll make it on the show. And I'll mention your name, give you all the credit. But as always, drink responsibly.